Let's make cupcakes. We're gonna make some gnome cupcakes today and they are super cute. Can't wait to show you what these look like. Okay, so we're gonna use these little cupcakes and this is one of the series that we're doing. We made, already made the ocean themed cupcake soaps and now we are doing some gnomes. So we'll put these aside. We'll get our lye water in. Get everything going. going to mix the frosting up at the same time so it can begin to um, thicken. All right, let me put the, we have to do half and half of our fragrance. So I've got one ounce. I'm going to do half of it in here and half in the frosting. And this is called pixie dust. Smells really good. Very fruity. Before I continue to do this, I want to get the top mixed up. Actually, we'll just wait on that. So I'm going to mix this here. I don't want it to get too thick on me, so I can just nicely pour it. And I've got my green. Um, Oh, this smells so good, the, the pixie. So I'm gonna mix my green in. I don't want it to be too neon, but I want it to be kind of a light and bright, lively green. This is just a neon green from Nurture. And all of my Nurture colors, you'll have um, a link in the description if you are interested in going there and buying them, I highly recommend their colors. Always keep a big stack of paper towels ready. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of things. I'll be right back. Give that a stir and I am gonna mix up the frosting now so that it has time to thicken up a little bit for me. So I'm gonna put this aside, grab my frosting, grab my other lye water in a recipe for this and the soap icing recipe um, just go to the mermaid soaps I'll link it here um, if I remember and I have a full recipe for all of it there and you can apply that to any one of these just change the fragrance and um, you know look at the percentages but other than that you can use the same recipe <laughs> put the remaining fragrance in here and then add in some titanium dioxide. I get the water base to mix it with water and this will be our topping. that just sit and thicken up and I'm also going to take this off the top and put that in the sink so I um, took the recipe and made it a little smaller shrunk it down a bit so hopefully I have a little extra of the icing because I have some other um, cupcakes that I need to put icing on and this fragrance will work well with those because I've got some of these rose soap dough flowers, two of those that I want to put on. I think they'll look pretty with the bottom base. Let's go ahead and pour these before it gets too thick.
I'm gonna get these a little tap down in a moment. My goal is to have 10. Let's see if we get there before I pour those. Because it is a little thick, I'm gonna kind of tap these out. Just get them level. These are, there we go. Perfect. And then let's see if we can do two more. We should be able to. Hopefully I measured this just right and I get 10 and it looks like that's where I am. Okay, so now we have all of these. Just kind of move some over so you can see them. Got about 10 here and We'll get the tops on. So this has to get thick. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. See if we can get it thicker. And while we're waiting for that, I'll put some things away, but I want to show you the little gnomes. So I have these adorable little gnomes. Look at their sunglasses. So I didn't make these. These are fully made out of soap dough from an Etsy seller that I'm now getting my soap dough from. She does an amazing job. Look at the detail on these. And I'll be using several of her designs soon. And then I also wanted to get the toadstools because I feel like the gnomes and the toadstools go together and it might be a little hard to kind of fit them on the cupcakes, but we're gonna do it anyway. Um, I'm gonna keep a couple of these for my online store, but for the most part, they are going to a local store. So I'm hoping I have some extra, and I should have some extra frosting um, because I have a couple of cupcakes that need to be frosted. All right, so now we're gonna take the icing, frosting, whatever you wanna call it, put it in here. So I just have these disposable bags. I usually do kind of two sets. And then we always start with plastic, just like a dollop in the middle. Hopefully you guys can see this. Again, I'm doing very small batches of these. I'm not wasting any inventory this year. I could still use a little bit of setup time. So they can kind of stick out and then we'll do a toadstool on the other side. That works for me. Yeah, we'll just kind of sit them into the side. Let's do the gnomes first. 
insert them in the side. These are adorable. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I am just finishing up putting in the gnomes, just kind of sitting them in there because they are a little bit bigger than the soap dough uh, embeds that I would use typically. So they're kind of heavy, um, but I'm kind of just sitting them at a slant and then sticking the toadstools in there. Um, I'm also putting some flowers on that I had as extras so that I can use these extra cupcakes and I'll uh, probably either give them to one of my stores or um, use them in a giveaway or I'm not really sure what I'll do with those. So now I'm just grabbing some of my sprinkles and going through and doing a little bit of the crunchy cosmetic glitter and then also um, putting on some of the pump spray glitter as well. So I'm doing a little bit of blue and some purple on the gnome cupcakes and then I've got um, just some pink and some light blue that I am doing on the flowers. So that's that. Once again, if you are interested in a recipe in, um, for the cupcakes themselves and also for the soap frosting, because again, it is cold processed soap frosting, but it is a different recipe than um, the typical soap. Um, I have that on my mermaid soap video. It gives you the full recipe um, and it's in the description of that as well. So enjoy.